Gathering the rock with LeBron pressed up on him near the end of the shot clock, having it knocked away while sweeping through on the catch, then running into the double of AD and stunt of Prince, Lucas stopping a dime pushback dribble 180 sheds two defenders before a mix of balance and pristine control allow him to knock down the step back triple in Brown and Bronze Grill. Isolated on the switched onto him, Hayes, who forces him to pick up the dribble. Two up fakes are followed by Doncic baiting layup to instead all in one motion weave a no look wraparound bullet through the double of Hachimura to Dante Exum. A game prior to this, Luka's ludicrousness showed up elsewhere. After mercilessly rejecting Santi Aldama, sending it flying into the stands, he would let the Memphis crowd hear about it. Few possessions later after draining the catch and shoot to put Dallas up big, Luka would just go full on ape shit, mimicking all four of the reactions from the trash talking courtside bots, I, I mean fans. Clearly Doncic has lost the tad bit of sleep dealing with the birth of his newborn child, however likewise becoming a father of the Memphis Grizzlies, continuing his merciless trolling in this same third quarter, Luka would flop to draw the offensive foul, then trash talk Memphis sophomore Vince Williams Jr. That was just five days after Doncic got in a heated tough with Utah Jazz guard Chris Dunn, where he'd be revealed as saying, quote unquote, he's just mad I'm busting his ass, while denying the official's request for him to apologize to Chris. With the on-court bag to back up initiated beefs, Doncic went off for a combined 75 points in those two outings where he was trash-talking against Utah and Memphis. The Slovenian sensations a built-for-basketball specimen whose mix of polished skill and killer mentality doesn't have mercy for anyone. Earlier in the year on November 11th, Luka joined LeBron James and Michael Jordan as the only players in NBA history with more than 30 games of posting 40 plus points at the age of 25 or younger. Posting 32 points per game for a second consecutive year, Doncic has taken a career high 10.2 threes per game while also making a career high 38.4% of those shots. Trending upwards in terms of GOAT potential, he may have a lot to say for a player that's yet to win a championship, but the Don's status in the superstar hierarchy is raising by the day nonetheless. Stay tuned for more on that and for how the man's been getting it done lately. Right quick though, just 12.2% of you watching are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you for your support. Following another patented masterclass and a victory over the in-season tournament championship winning Los Angeles Lakers, who we talked about in my last video, Doncic is now only one outing behind James Harden for the second most 30 plus point, 15 plus assist games of all time. Additionally, having already surpassed LeBron James and tying Wilt Chamberlain for the fourth most 40-point triple doubles in NBA history, the milestones Doncic is achieving, despite you can't forget still being only 24 years of age, are quite frankly starting to become absurd. Headband Luka would achieve that bit of history against Utah as a 70% true shooting clinic, showcase the flowing seamlessness in which Luka's scoring repertoire is consisted of, the unhesitant confidence, equilibrium, and impetuousness to let it fly with bodies in the vicinity, combined with his ability to pristinely manufacture looks for himself and others out of isolations working off the dribble, is the far and away main reason for Dallas currently being third place in the Western Conference and having won four straight games. Not only is this man Luka both second among all players in scoring per game and fifth in league-wide assists per game, but for what's now the third consecutive NBA season, is leading all point guards in rebounds per game. The reason Luka was ranked number four in Deflo's top 10 player rankings from this past summer is that very few can match what he does in all three major statistical categories, measuring passing, board getting, and of course scoring. Fellow top point guards in SGA, Fox, and Steph can match Luka's scoring, but are not even on the same level when it comes to rebounding or passing. Doncic's off-the-dribble shooting structure combined with how he's able to see over the top of and in some cases body off his almost always smaller matchup are what have allowed him to resemble one of the greatest pure perimeter shot creators ever, the greatest I've ever been alive to appreciate aside from Prime Steph. But while Doncic's game is based around his beyond-the-arc operation, how he shows up in the rebounding and assist departments on top of that sauce from deep range, paint the picture of a modern age version of Magic Johnson and Oscar Robertson. The type of all-time well-rounded guard we're getting to witness on a nightly basis is something we shouldn't take for granted. And the reason he draws comparisons to Magic, in my opinion, is the man's instinctive, intelligent playmaking creativity, which is shown off right here. 
despite fending off Williams Jr. as the trailer while dealing with the backside help of two talented rim protectors in Jackson Jr. and Biombo. All while Dwight Powell takes an elbow to the grill and is out of the play, Luca still has the calm, cool, and collectiveness amidst this circumstance to evasively jump into his layup. This draws the gravity of four Memphis defenders. Notice how Luca sells his take all the way through, not changing his body language the slightest bit, then simply flicks his wrist for the high velocity kick out to the corner where Omax Prosper knocks it down. More brilliant inventiveness while again finding Prosper. Here he's the cutter in a high-low action with Lively, and credit to Omax for staying ready despite Doncic completing three and a half quarters of this layup before kicking it out just before he touches the ground, giving us another IQ alert. On this possession, after having it knocked away, he dives on the floor between two Grizz defenders to save it, but I'm more impressed with how directly after that, he immediately spots Exum in the corner which shows you his natural passing awareness. So while we're only a quarter of the way through the NBA season, Luka's most noticeable improvement displayed in the sixth year of his NBA career has been his jump shooting, specifically on retrievals. On catch and shoot three-pointers, his efficiency this season is more than a 5% increase in comparison to 2022-23. As you may know, the man receives a ton of flack for what he does on the other side of the court defensively, so you may be surprised to hear Luka ranks a solid ninth among all point guards in defensive rating, three and four places ahead of fellow top point guards Stephen Curry and De'Aaron Fox. However, you see exactly why that's the case when after Markeith Morris latches onto Biombo, Doncic also makes the proper read, shuffling over with fundamental hands out positioning to knock away the Bismack entry before gathering the loose ball and throwing it off Aldama to gain possession. Providing help on the David Roddy drive, this forces the kick out to Luka's man and Desmond Bain spotted up in the left corner who he sprouts onto. Staying down on several up fakes, taking the positioning from Doncic to cut off Bain's right and force him baseline before lining up and as clean as it gets reaching from behind on Bain, netting the steal. Offensively, it's how Luka's mixing up his game that's allowed for him to take over. One possession, he'll instantly pull up from distance after a few shiftily unstoppable combos. Another time down, he'll get a tad bit further inside to the mid-range area where he can excel purely off craft. Out of nowhere, without even using a combo, you'll then see him just step back after the slightest bit of penetration. When you factor in both the aforementioned improved spot-up shooting ability, not to mention obviously his passing, and Doncic makes it extremely tough for defenses to pick up on his tendencies. In your opinion though, is Luka the top MVP candidate right now with the Dallas Mavericks third in the West? Best answer gets a shout out next video and gets up on the speaks board for a chance to win free NBA merch. Today's shout out goes to Christian Moore, who says LeBron still deserves the most credit. He's what makes the engine run and the Lakers will go only as far as he takes them. Great take right there. Your boy DFlo signing off. Appreciate you so much and I'll see you next video.